So we are painting a gray screen onto the wall. We're going to be using the Sherman Williams SW, that's the Sherman Williams Network Gray uh, SW773. reason why we repeat that over and over again, because as I said before, we use this product to test against several gray screen paint mixes, and it matched perfectly. Now, like I said, at the end of the day, we always give people the opportunity to back their products up, and if they choose not to do so, at the end of the day, well, it is what it is. All right, so as I said before, this product pretty much reacts. Even if somebody said, well, that's just a house paint. No, it reacts to gray screen paint very, 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 very well. All right, so let's paint the rest of the screen and get this done because I still have to do a demonstration showing the difference of why you do not want to use these screens and why they reflect too much light in so many different directions. All right, so let's get this finished up. So I'm going to be painting on the rest of the screen, finishing up. I got some pictures for the website. Um, I got some did some Facebook demonstrations a few minutes ago and just did a few on YouTube. We did one live. We did one on Happy's. This is Happy's. Happy's is our projector we use in demonstrations to explain to people that at the end of the day, you're not even getting the full use of your projector. You're only getting half of your projector. That's all you're getting at the end of the day. So that's why we like that projector. We call it Mr. Haffies. If Mr. Haffies would show you at the end of the day, that's the reality check right there. That's what you're getting. That's what we're going to sit over here on the reality wall. We're going to have Mr. Haffy up there showing you that that's what you're getting from your screen at the end of the day. Half. That's it. Not the whole thing. Half of it. All right. So let's get this road up. It's done because I got more work to do today. Way to destroy the contrast level on your projector. I said at the end of the day, your screen is only as good as your as your projection screen. And at the end of the day, I explain to people that gray screens cannot see a contrast level. One of the tests that we requested was that the individual who made these accusations that his product could pull a contrast level equal to a black screen. He was supposed to do a meter max out demonstration. In the, meter, in the meter max out demonstration, he was told that to put the meter on the floor only. And keep in mind, you would have to have a ton of light in the environment to max out a meter. So the meter had to be on the floor, and he had to display contrast levels only in the demonstration. Never done. Any of the challenges that we gave, any of the instructions that we gave to backup products were never even done. So at the end of the day, how do you know that your product does what it's supposed to do if the individual who designed it can't even back it up? Starfield screensaver. Getting that from YouTube. Because I have no problem at the end of the day going downstairs and putting black products against my screen. I mean, some people may say that, hey, look, he could be just shipping you black paint. Well, we got tests against black paint, black fabric, black plastic, mesh material, you name it, we've done it already. But like I said, I got a problem back in my products. So at the end of the day, can they do this demonstration? Can they paint a gray screen over a black screen and produce the same contrast level as the black screen? But I've never done it, except for they can't back them up. So we're just showing you at the end of the day how you're only getting half of your projector. That's it. Now they want to convince you at the end of the day that you're getting a much more brighter and more vivid image. No, you're getting a washed out image at the end of the day. You're not getting a brighter, vivid image. You're doing the same thing a white screen can do. If it's all about brighter and wider levels, then wouldn't the white screen be the more superior screen? Because that's the screen that pulls the highest white levels out of any other projection screens you have on the market. But yet a white screen is the cheapest screen. It's a bottom dollar screen. It's a screen that can't see contrast, can't see color, and it washes out constantly all the time. And people just upgrade them or paint over top at the end of the day. Contrast is the most important thing. That's why when you buy a projector, it doesn't say a 2 million to 1 or 20,000 to 1 white level. It says contrast. I think old Ed pretty much figured that out when they spent millions, probably billions of dollars on that OLED technology.
going to be doing some demonstrations. Like I said, we're working over there, getting that section set up for a reality wall. We're going to have Mr. Happy over there. Mr. Happy is our projector that's cutting half. Just to show you at the end of the day that you're not getting what you think you're getting from your projector. You're just getting half the screen. That's it. Crow's product right here. It matches perfectly. Perfect. We have the test demonstrations to back it up. And like I said, we gave him the opportunity. Anytime he wants to come in and do the test demonstrations, Sherman Williams, Network Gray, SW773. That's it. Does the exact same thing.
I can stop what I'm doing right now. I can throw black paint against my screen and I can show you my screen's gonna generate a higher white level than any black surface I throw it against. I back up what I do. But if, you, if you're offended by this, get the frick off my freaking channel. Unsubscribe today or I'll figure out where you're at and I'll block you off of it because I don't want you on here at the end of the day. I don't entertain idiots at the end of the day. So you can understand that. People get offended when I say, oh, the delivery. Yeah, it's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. You tell me when you ever popped open a can of paint, you found this much water in your product. You would have taken it back to the store and said, oh, wait a minute, something's wrong here. There's water in my paint. You know water doesn't belong in paint in the day. The only time they put water in paint is to stretch it out to get more out of it. Usually if you got a bad contractor or somebody who's doing a job in your house, they do that stuff sometimes. I'm not saying everybody does, and all, and all contractors do it. But some people do that to stretch the paint out a little bit because they don't want to spend an extra 50 bucks because they want to keep more profit to themselves off payday. But no, yeah, that's, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard because it's going to it's gonna dehydrate. How? So that means any paint coming to the house, including this one, because it doesn't have water in it, would have basically evaporated. It works as a delivery system. No. When he said his product is not a paint, it's no, it is a paint. It's a paint with water in it. That's what it is. And the reason why I'm saying it's such a thin coating, it's a thin coating because you put water in it, that's why. And the reason why it's separated when it gets there, because there's water in it at the end of the day. That's why. But other than that, no, that's bull crap. That's a bunch of dumb nonsense, a delivery system. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. This is a delivery system. I've never heard anything that done in my life. I took that video down to Home Depot and I had the guy at the paint store, he was laughing his head off. Who the freak, why would you put, like, he put Vaseline, one of his products, he put Vaseline in. Vaseline was supposed to work as some kind of uh, ability to keep the polyboard thing from breaking down or whatever. Um, you don't know jack about jack. You've been living under a rock for the last 20 years. You do know that anytime they make a paint, they put it through something called a flash zone. Flash zone is the same thing equivalent when they take a car and they run it through a wall over and over and over again to test the crumple zones in the car to see whether or not if it's going to protect the crash dummies that are inside the vehicle. Testing, testing, testing. So you think a company is going to make a product that protect your deck or your woodwork at the end of the day is going to put a product out there without some testing on it to know that where is the time period going to be at when the stress test on when this product is going to start to deteriorate and maybe that product may have some infrastructure damage to it due to the fact that the very protection that is supposed to be on it is no longer holding its ability to be able to protect the surface. But no, you come out there and say Vaseline, you put Vaseline in it because that basically prolongs the uh, the ability for the uh, the uh, that particular product to, um, the whole, I don't know where you get this from. I, okay, put it this way, they put it through a flash zone. I know about a flash zone because I had a product go through a flash zone. This is where they set it on fire, they burn it, do all kinds of crazy stuff to it. Let's see what would happen to it. This is how they make safety material data sheets. They have to put it through some kind of crazy testing to go through all that. They put that stamp of approval on there for that five years or whatever time because they know how long it's going to take for that material to pretty much start to break down and when you may have to repaint the, repaint the deck. All that information is there for the testing. But this individual comes up there and tells you at the end of the day that you have to have some Vaseline in to keep her from doing something. You know what Vaseline happens when you stick it in paint? It causes the screen to hot spot because now you have an oil substance inside of a water-based substance. Not only is it going to cause separation and the product's not going to marry that well when it hits the surface, but you're going to have a product that's going to constantly hot spot all the time because there's oil in it. Again, not too smart at the end of the day. But the water delivery system, that takes the cake right there. That is the funniest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Of course, when you get the product delivered to you, it's going to show separation. There's water in it. And the reason why it's so thin is because you put water in it. But yet your screens take how long? No, I'm going to do the other one. It's just too easy today for that one. It's just the dumb stuff that I hear. It's a delivery system causes the system to basically do it. It works as a delivery system. No, it doesn't. At the end of the day, I guarantee you, bar none, that you and Crow's products ended up looking exactly the same and reacting the same way. I'm willing to bet my life on it that both of them react the same way. I'm willing to bet that your product will match a tablecloth at the end of the day. 
But I'll guarantee that your products will probably match very closely, very, very closely, probably very, probably close all together they match. And the reason why I'm saying it is because the instructions that he has is out of this freaking world, which means he had to design something to separate himself to get his product in a different identity from Crow's product. No, 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 no. Crow's is a one code application. Mine requires you to put this line in the middle of the screen and start from A to B and from B to A and up and down and blah, 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 blah. And my system is a little thinner. It's a building system, an optimization system for blah, 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 blah. This is a one code application, blah, blah, blah. You needed something to separate yourself from him. At the end of the day, you failed miserably. And I'll tell you where he failed that miserably twice. Well, not so much as making mistakes in the video, the time stamp in your video. You said on camera that your product took about seven days, five to seven days to dry. On the timestamp, when you painted the screen, what was on the 13th, what was on the 12th? So again, like I said, if you did it on the 13th in seven days, you would have had it somewhere around the 20th. So your timestamp's off, they're right back next to each other, which means your screen dried faster than you thought it dried. And then you just put that there to make it seem more technical at the end of the day. The other problem we have here is the fact that you went through that whole process to paint that little piece of cardboard or whatever that was, a plastic sheet, to talk about optimization and all this nonsense just to have on a splash over, which means they take the projector and splashes over the screen, match your wall and your theater room. Did you not see that in the demonstration? So you went through all this optimization, it's not a paint, it's this, that, and the other, it's a building system, it's a level system, just to go through all that to have it match your wall in your theater room. I'm pretty sure that your theater room didn't take four coats of paint and all this crazy application. I'm pretty sure you primed the service and went over with the paint and you were done. You matched your theater room. Did you not see that? He didn't recognize, I don't think he recognized what he did in the demonstration. That's why I kept taking the mouse and I kept pointing at the wall and pointing at the screen back and forth. They matched. Definitely matched. brighter image that's bull crap unless you can back it up that's bull your product at the end of the day is exactly like crows that's what it is the only difference is you have water in yours to make yours thinner and you have the insane instructions that's it you can't back up anything your product says demonstrations and called me on the phone I said why don't you do me a favor how about you take that screen move away all that junk out of the way and stick that screen right up there next to that theater wall see if it matches he didn't want to do it I gave him the tablecloth challenge too he didn't do that either I give you the Sherman Williams challenge too matter of fact we got this stuff called software gray take that software gray and take that Sherman Williams and put it against your product see if it matches he won't do it either yeah it's nothing but house paint that's all it is same thing I'm using here it's the same thing they got over here Nothing different. Nothing different. Well, you can sit there and tell me, hey, guess what? I bet you 100 bucks you're shipping everybody black paint. I bet you I can back it up at the end of the day. Matter of fact, I got to do another one of those demonstrations today again. Where is your demonstration? Nowhere to be found. because pretty much I don't know why some of you go out and do the research for all these projectors you go and do the research for to get the best projector you can possibly get 
at the end of the day to get a projector that you will never use contrast. So when it can't pick up color correctly at the end of the day, you're going to have to calibrate it. You're going to be in a dark environment in order to get a decent summer picture. And even whatever you get out of it, you really think that's an image at the end of the day? That's nothing. You have no idea what your projector is capable of doing because you will never see it. Me, on the other hand, I, my projectors are older than y'all's. They're old, outdated relic projectors. And my screens, my projectors can do things that your projectors can't even do. Think about that one. I paid far, far less for mine, too. And it's a shame how y'all look at this and think that's actually color. Not even close. And not even close to it. Natural Desire EK. I think I butchered that. Getting that from YouTube. EK Desire Nature. Getting that from YouTube. What's this? Oh. 8K Desire Nature. Getting that from YouTube. There we go. Look at my new outfit, dude. Your new outfit? Yeah, I found it. Get your first class free at Orange Theory. So this is the sad part. Now you just saw what your screen looked like with that gray paint. You really think you're seeing a contrast level when you see that. I'm not laughing at you. It is funny. But people really believe that they're seeing black levels. That's not black, that's gray. Now, to tell you the truth, to be honest with you, look, you're not the only one. I mean, come on. Mr. Burr has been through this too before. Remember, Mr. Burr used to make great screen paints back in the day. I used to make this stuff. I literally thought that my screens were seeing a black level until that black diamond sample she came in and told me differently. It's not black, people. That's great. I can see it. I see black. It's right there, Mr. Burr. You are wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. That is definitely black at the end of the day. Oh, my stuff real quick. No, that's not black. That's black. What you're looking at is gray. Now when you look at it, what do you see? You see gray, don't you? Yeah, you're not seeing black. That's what I've been telling people for the longest time. That's what I've been telling you. It's in the day. When you watch those demonstrations in the dark, you are not seeing black. You are actually literally seeing gray. That's all you're seeing. When you watch it on the P2, when you watch it in the dark, you are seeing gray. That's what you're seeing. But you literally think you're seeing a black level. No, you're not. That's why when you make those screens like that, we call it the reality screen because it brings you back to reality, what you are actually seeing. That's what it's trying to do. Give you a taste of reality, show you what you are actually seeing at the end of the day. Your projector, I'm using older projectors over here, and some of you people have some amazing projectors. You have amazing projectors. And when I talk to some of the customers, like, wow, you got that? You own that projector? That's pretty nice. That's a really good one right there. But I know at the end of the day, you're not getting anything out of that projector. You're getting only, this is what you're getting. This is your projector, right? You're getting half a projector. That's all you get. That's all you're getting. You paid all that money, did your research, right, for your projector. And this is all you got at the end of the day, half of it. That's all you got. What's the point of doing You might as well not got a knockoff projector. You'd have got the same results.
Let's make sure we got our edges on this nice and sharp. And I can make sure my edges are nice and sharp on my screen. I think it should be good here. Make sure I got no black showing through. It needs to be absolutely. And when you put that level comes up, and make sure it has to be absolutely that color. Can't have any black pushing through at all. That's it. The only thing you have is a bump up from a white screen. That's all you have. So when the screen dries, and I bring a white sheet of paper up here, and I put it against the screen, you're going to see how much only how much you get. That's it. Not a lot. You get a little bump up. That's it. Get a little bump up, there it extra dry. Blue screen. Getting that from YouTube. Perfect. You know the thing better than getting five bites at one stop? If getting five bites and a bonus brings a one stop. So, what color is that, people? You think that's blue? Looks blue to me, right? That's not blue. That's washed out. Hey, yeah. That's blue. That's why I told you at the end of the day, you're not getting what you think you're getting from your projector. You're only getting half your projector. That's good too. We can do a slide off too, because we got the uh, lens shift in here. We can do that and slide right up the wall. And we can get an idea exactly what you're getting at the end of the day. You can't even pick up on gunmetal. This is the screen you're seeing right now. This is gunmetal technology. It's not even black. When that screen drops down, you'll see what a true black screen looks like. But this right here is not black. That's gunmetal. But this is actually what you're picking up when it comes to color. That's what you're picking up. So you're only getting half your projector, that's it. So this is for, now mind you, the only people that would get offended, my customers don't get offended at the end of the day when I talk about particular people like Part Tan and Crow. The only people get offended by that are people that support those people who get offended and get upset by that. You're the ones that get upset over that. But at the end of the day, like I said, if, that, if you don't like what I have to say, you can get off my channel. Because I'm not here to basically come in here and, and, and give these two people glory points or good points and say, oh, their product's good at the end of the day. It's so and so and so. No, their product is trash at the end of the day. Because their product did exactly what it claimed it did, I wouldn't have so many cancellations on, on them. If they could back their products up, Crow's product wouldn't be matching, house paint wouldn't be matching, tablecloths at the end of the day. All the challenges we just gave that guy to back up his products at the end of the day and went back and checked his YouTube channel, he didn't do not one demonstration. I don't know what's worse. The fact that his website looks as, as sketchy as it does. Hey, 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 I'm watching you, buddy. I'm watching you. It looks as sketchy as can be. His return policy is like a freaking mess. You tell me if that package lands on my property, you mean I got no exchange, I got no money back, nothing at the end of the day, nothing? It's mine, that's it? Like my buddy said, he could send you a box full of rocks and you couldn't even get away from that one at the end of the day. Because at the end of the day, you say, well, he put those rocks and there's no way to rock would put that in at the end of the day. That's the crazy exchange, that's the craziest return policy I've ever seen in my entire life. As sketchy as sketchy can be. So if that bothers you at the end of the day, that bottom line is this joker can't basically back his product up to a basic house paint or a tablecloth and that offends you, then you need to get off my freaking channel at the end of the day. You need to go someplace else because we don't support idiots at the end of the day. I'm not here to talk and educate idiots at the end of the day. People with common sense that can look at that nonsense and say, gee whiz, 
That does not look right at the end of the day. But I know why you're here. You're here because everybody, every, and when you go on his channel, it's the same dumb nonsense every day. When you go to the other one's channel, it's the same dumb nonsense. Neither one of them can explain anything properly at the end of the day. No logic, no facts, can't back anything up at the end of the day. It's the same dumb nonsense, same dark environment, same projector, same thing every day. Get the heck out of my freaking arm stand every single day. Mr. Bird, you come on my room, what do you see? Oh, next room, we put in a multi-projector uh, setup in one room. Come in here, we're doing a whole different setup in here with motorized projection screens. There's always something different. We're doing stuff over here. Because the difference between them and them, I can take my screen paint and I can go anywhere I want in my house. We can change it up, design it, swap out projectors, take it outside, take it inside. We can do all that. Them, they have their projectors set up in their comfortable environments. You see Crow taking that P2 projector outside and doing any demonstrations? He only paints the same thing over and over and over again. That project, whatever he does has to go on that same setting in that same environment every single time because it's set up to make that screen look good. The only time I've seen him take a projector off is when he took the 720p Epson and that thing looked like trash on that screen. Didn't look the same way it did on that P2 for some reason, did it? But in the next room, I can show you four projectors, it's actually three projectors fired off at the same time, and all of them are pulling an amazing image. Even the one at the bottom in 235.1, that's 600 by 800 at 720p. As a matter of fact, I need to borrow that projector anyway. I need to use that for downstairs for a while. I gotta change out my lamp and the other Chrissy. Hmm. That's why I told you, you don't see stuff like this. There's some, oh, his demonstration takes hours. Yeah, they do, because you know how much information you're supposed to have when you're watching the demonstration? Not somebody coming over to my, oh, we're going to take this paint, paint it on the surface, we're going to stick it from the projector, have it in the dark, well, we're done. No! What the freak? You just missed a ton of freaking demonstrations. Where's your color pattern test? Where's your contrast demonstrations? White levels. You're not... Can you change out the caliber of your projector? You know, when you use an ultra short though projector constantly all the time, that's probably like XY screens demonstrations. They're constantly using an ultra short throws. An ultra short though projector, I consider it is a cheater projector. You know why? Because you're sitting literally right up on top of the screen. You're not going to get, if you have a projector, I'm going to explain this to you. If you have a projector that is a venue projector, the reason why venue projectors have such massive amount of lumens attached to them because this is a projector that's going to be used number one in a commercial environment so they know there's going to be a ton of light in there waiting for the projector number two this is a projector that's probably going to be thrown back at a pretty good distance so if you got a projector going back around 30 feet back and you depend on how much light you have per square inch in the environment depends on how much light it's going to be you tear away at the projector before it makes this distance from A to B. So if you start off at 3,000 lumens, you're not going to have 3,000 lumens by the time you make it from A to B. It's actually going to start to drop depending on how much light you have in the environment. Now the screen on the other hand has a certain gain capability. Say it has about a five point something gain. As long as the, uh, the, the whatever lumens that are dropped in the process of making it from A to B, as long as there's enough to basically to get the screen to generate under that five, under that two, under that one, then they're okay with that. They automatically know from the door that they're going to use a ton of lumens making it from A to B. They just have to have a projector powerful enough to sacrifice those lumens before it makes it to the screen. That's why when we show you demonstrations with a thousand lumen projector outside, do you have any idea how much ambient light rips at a thousand lumen projector at 13 feet back to travel and hit a screen and come back and produce an image? That is extremely hard to do. And you're talking about people doing this at 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 lumens and having issues on white and gray screens. There you go. So I don't like the short throw projectors. A short throw projector, you got a projector that's casting 3,000 lumens at two inches and two feet and two inches from the screen, even a foot. You know the distance throw from that? You know how much ambient light you've got? Pretty much, you know how many lumens you're going to lose in the process of going from A to B? Not much. Not much at all because you're literally sitting right up on top of the screen. Where if you had a projector that's sitting back around 12 or 13 feet in the same amount of lighting, that is not that's going to lose more lumens by the time it makes contact with the screen compared to the ultra short though that's sitting right up on top of the screen at 3,000 lumens. That's why I don't like using ultra short though as demonstrations. They're cheater projectors. And then you're talking about a projector that's calibrated. So now it's calibrated to maintain the picture quality even better, even at a shorter distance. And if you can't maintain an image at that close of a distance with that kind of projector, with that kind of contrast ratio, your screen at the end of the day is trash. There you go. 
You ever have Crow explain it to you like that before? He can't explain it to you before. When he comes on camera, he goes, uh, 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 and starts laughing in between. That's the person who's making it up as he goes along. He doesn't even understand his own product at the end of the day. You know why? Look at his website. Look at the specification sheet. It's not a specification sheet. It's a summary. I've tested it on 8K or 1080p projectors. Anything is going to show up on an 8K or a 4K or even a 2K projector or 1080p or 720p. Heck, I got projectors downstairs that I pull up on any one of those on, on, on any one of those screens, so no problem. I'm talking about if you did a 1080p test, how does your screen compare in 1080p versus another certified screen in a color test? How does your colors come up on a 1080p projector? That's the 1080p behind me right now. If I take this product and I stick it against the screen, is this screen going to be to produce on a 1080p projector the exact same color as the screen we're displaying right here without calibrating? No. So you didn't test it on a 1080p. You stuck it in front of a 1080p projector and you just said, oh, it works. It's tested. Yeah, okay. Test it would mean do we drop you back maybe about a good maybe 15 feet, 18 feet from a screen light the entire environment up, throw a certify up there, and see exactly if you can basically output from the certify at that distance back at 1080p, which is going to pull the better image at 18 feet back. So you can honestly say in your specification sheet, okay, at 1080p, I can have my projector by 18 feet, and it can maintain a solid red, blue, green, or yellow, better colors, without calibration, and it can do it against a certify, which is the same color as my screen. That's why it's, it's, his website looks looks really iffy. There's no test demonstrations on it. Are we on blue? We just came out of blue, didn't we? Let's try red. Get off with your new so bright. So as you can see, 1080p projector, gray screen paint. The same gray screen paint we tested on Crow's product that matched perfectly. So how is your stuff 1080p tested at the end of the day? Because at the end of the day, just being a 1080p, my product could blow your product clean out of the water. I can produce a brighter red on an uncalibrated projector in a fully lit environment. But if I take your product and stick it up there, which we call it the Sherman Williams' product anyway because it matched, it'll do the exact same thing. It'll match the Sherman Williams and it will turn around and do the exact same thing. It ain't 1080p tested at all, period. Anything to work on 1080p, it'll make a difference. You can go get white paint, it'll work on 1080p. If you're saying that it works on 1080p, it's like saying that, okay, say you get a 1080p projector, say you hit it with another gray screen paint, and the screen completely comes out black, and you can't see anything at all. Nothing comes up, no picture quality, nothing. Doesn't work at all. Then you take the same projector and you put it on another screen, and it pops up on his screen. There you go. Hoosla. Hoosla. Man. Let's get back over here. We got to do some stuff today. Are we drying on this? Get it back in the ship. How I know how it's going back in place when the blue disappears and goes back into the ugly blue. When we go back to the ugly blue, that's when we know we're in the spot. Oh, there we go, right back in the ugly blue. Oh, man, I can't, I can't, I don't see how people do it. I don't know how, I'm not saying, I don't, my customers, I don't know if they're watching this or anything, but I'm just saying, people will have these screens. I don't know how you do it. There is no way in the world just playing anything with this stuff. I'd rather just buy a TV at the end of the day. Honestly. Oh, it's bad. I had a 235.1, 178 inches, no, 158, sitting on the floor, and I couldn't finish painting the screen until I had the customer's orders done. And I said, like, I'm not even going to turn on the projector. What's the point? I'm not looking at that thing. Worst thing ever. Let's go over here and let's see if have some fun with this. Where's my motorized? No, no, I want to make sure this is dry because any wet paint is motorized, so I'm going to go up and damage my screen. We need to make sure this is dry. So we'll come back in later on and we'll do the demonstration with the up and down. You know what I mean? I'm curious to see just a little bit of it. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to hit it. I should hit it. Let me see. Because it might sit out a little bit. Yeah, I should be good. Back in full. Back in full. Back in full. Back in full. I said all back in full. All back in full. I gotta do something with that loop area too.
we are not touching it. I'm not, I'm not touching it at all. Okay. Just to show you at the end of the day, now this is black phantom technology. This thing pulls a brighter, and I mean a brighter, brighter blue than the gunmetal over here. As you saw when I was pointed up, it pulls a much, much more brighter, more vivid. This is true black technology. See how beautiful that blue is? How gorgeous it looks? Now, let me show you what your gray products do. This is perfect. And on top of that, at the same time, I get to show out how badly, why you do not want to go near a gray screen. But also, too, I get to roll my screen up and down to show Mr. Partey that, man, you don't even know what you were talking about at the end of the day. You can't roll a screen up and down. It's going to stick. Man, get out of here with that poppy crop nonsense. And a nerdy on camera tell me, oh, you can't paint it because you've damaged the motor. Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. There we go. So now this is fantastic. I love this setup right here. This is perfect. See, at the end of the day, we build this stuff for you guys. We build these setups, these environments for you guys to show you at the end of the day what you're not getting. I'm not going to get on the camera and talk a whole bunch of dumb nonsense at the end of the day. Don't know what I'm talking about. Can't back it up at the end of the day. Just people out there running their mouths for the sake of running their mouths. No, I will build setups for you and say, look, this is how it's done. This is what you don't want to do. To give you an idea of why you don't want to mess with these products at the end of the day. And they're going to sit there and say, oh, this product comes out too black. Hey, guess what? I ain't got no problem going downstairs and backing my stuff up. No problem at all. But I guarantee at the end of the day, if I ask you to back your stuff up, you can't do it. There you go. There you go. Let's come back down again. Let's get that real blue. That real blue. Mm, 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 gorgeous that blue looks. Oh, we got to do this one. Hold on, hold on. Where's the remote control for that one? I got it here. I got it here. What is it? I got to find it. I got to do that one with the black makeup. We got to see this one. Uh, let me see. Remote controls. Remote controls. Where did you put them at? Okay, here it is on the floor. Perfect. And yeah. We got to make a section for the website for this one. AK Desire Nature. Getting that from YouTube. Oh, really? AK Desire Nature. Getting that from YouTube. There we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Open your eyes, little potato. This. really think you're seeing contrast at the end of the day. Not even close. There you go. That's what you're supposed to be looking at. That's real contrast. Let's get something even harder. Let's go with the goldfish. The goldfish is one of the hardest ones to do too. It's a really, really hard one to do. Let's find that one. Black background goldfish screensaver. Getting that from YouTube. Let's go back. I'm gonna let that one a little bit. And the reason why this is so hard because the background must remain black at all times, no matter what. And the goldfish must stay nice and vivid. Let's see if the gray paint can pick it up.
Let's see how the Phantom technology can maintain that nice bright level, give you that nice vivid fish pushing through, and give you the black contrast level at the same time. This is a nice setup we put here. I like this. Now we got to do it through the reality wall in another section. This whole down, this whole area right here is going to be all about reality, showing you exactly what you're really getting at the end of the day. That's why I said the best thing you can do is basically let that that box stay upstairs in the attic. Because if I bring you down here, we're going to call this the reality room. You're not going to like it down here. We got to start setting up more projectors. I got to do some shopping, so we got to get some of the projectors in here too. LG jazz demonstration. Getting that from YouTube. Curiosity, let's see in these demonstrations. They said that our product comes up so dark that you can't see it. Now, I know for a fact when you're dealing with black screens, white levels always drop. That's what's supposed to happen. But you're talking about so dark that you can't even see the screen. Is that possible? 4K snow screensaver. Getting that from YouTube. be so dark you can't see the screen at all I can see the individual snowflakes dropping right off the screen so how is it possible that image was supposed to come up so dark you can't see it we're gonna get some black green up here too but these are the same screens that we got outside at 150 inches that are pulling up with no problem Got to be the back of your work at the end of the day. Let's go with, uh, let me see. Skyworth food demonstration. Getting that from YouTube. that again about my screen being so dark you can't even see it hmm interesting
my people, I'm done. I've had enough fun here. Yeah. I got to do a black on black demonstration in about a few minutes. So we're done with this right here. I'm going to get this room set up. I don't know what I'm going to do with this wall over here. I might do a paint on right here, but I got to figure out okay, get some more black paint because we're out of the phantom technology. So I think right here, we're going to do a setup over here. Let me see what we got. We got a Sony DPO FH. We gotta just throw this up here and get this projector right here for this section. We're gonna make this a reality wall here. So this one right here, we got one for the motorized. This one we can swap out for our motorizes. Let me see. Some motor because that's perfect for the motorized screens. We can fit them right up in there. I can put a bunch of them right over in there. I just got to take all that stuff out of there and take that upstairs, and we can put them right up in here. Anytime I want, I can just take them out and load them up at the end of the day. Oh, let me see. I'm gonna place something on this while I'm waiting. No, 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 wait, wait. I gotta do some installments in here real quick. So let me see. Uh, I'm going through tropical 4K fish. Getting that for you too. Oh, this is here. for that wall over there so we have this one right here it's going to be set up for this one over here the reality wall and that projector is a distance to over there which is fantastic so let me see i think what i'm going to do is let me, let me just cut the whole wall out because there's no point in basically size of the screen which i want to do i'm just going to paint the whole wall out in what i want instead of here we're painting what i want here Thank you. 
deep one right here. See that right there. That's what we're gonna call this the room of reality. That's a perfect name for it.
much easier when the walls are flat when the walls aren't flat man it's but you got to kind of second guess it all right that curves in them, boy, I'm telling you, that's how you know at the end of the day. If your walls are flat, they're 100% flat, you'll know. Stick an ultra short though against them. If the ultra short though waves on the screen, your walls aren't flat. swap out for projectors and we load our projectors down here. I'm gonna get two more to put down there. Two more projectors for down there. For that test on section right here. We're definitely gonna need a bookcase in here, some kind to stack my stuff up in. So I was gonna use that for a reality wall, but we don't need that. We're gonna paint over that. This is gonna be the reality wall right there. That's gonna be perfect. And that way I can put projectors here and I can swap them out. I can stack them on the rack over here and I can swap out my projectors right there. Let's see. I wanted to do a motorized here, but nah, I only put a motorized here because at the end of the day, I had no place to put it. But now we have it over here. This is fantastic. This is where we're gonna have it at. Okay, guys, 
I'm gonna have to put some stains in here. So that way we can have some, uh, let me get some of this paint. I'm gonna paint over this area. And stuff, I'm gonna paint everything bone white in here. Everything is gonna be white. Everything. We're gonna put something down for the floor because, like I said, at the end of the day, we're doing some work in here. So I'm probably gonna put some. I want the floor to be white. I'm gonna put down that white tarp that when I have downstairs. That's gonna reflect a lot of light. I want this room to reflect a ton of ambient light in here. So we're gonna do all the walls in bone white. I'm gonna put a one coat application. The curtains, everything has to be stone white in here. The only thing we want to have in here, black, is my chair. That's basically about it. Probably a few cabinets and that's it. But everything in here is going to be bone white. It has to be. The more light we reflect out of here, the better. I'm still going to have that ceiling light removed. I want something bigger. Like I want a big dome in here with plenty of light. So that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to take everything in here, bone white and everything. The LED lights in here are all going to be bone white. Like the ones we have in there in the hallway. I want those in here because they generate more light. And then at night time we can turn the lights out and we can watch the light reflect all over the place. I don't want the walls in here to be dark. I want to show you how much light is reflecting off your screen. That's why we're bone white in the entire area. You're going to see light flash off the floor, everything. When that projector comes down, Mr. Mannequin sit over here. We're going to get another Mr. Mannequin. Right over there, you can see all the lights are going to reflect off the wall. All that light, boom, right off the wall. But at the end of the day, just to show you, at the end of the day, when somebody says that the best theater screens are basically for dedicated, it's supposed to be light. No, 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 no. Completely wrong. Completely wrong. But the experts say, yeah, the experts say a lot of the certified screens were supposed to be just that and the other, but they're not, are they? Still gonna buy a high and expensive projector, calibrate your projector, and still be stuck in an ambient like controlled environment. When I can pull off an image that beautiful in a fully lit environment. There, Jeff, pull in your chain. I forgot to open up my curtains, people. We gotta let some light in here. It's too dark. Go to waste? No, 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 no. It's a light in the house. Come on, I can brighten it up in here. that we made in a max out zone. So this screen is used to being in an environment where meters don't pick up. I told you, that's where you want to develop stuff at. Because the more light the screen can take in, when you put it in an environment like this, this is nothing for it. This is easy. That's why we do them in such harsh damage. That's why we design those products and we test them in such harsh damage and harsh environments. That's why I warn people at the end of the day when you're watching demonstrations, the majority of that video is sitting in the dark then if you put any light in the environment, that screen's gonna wash out automatically. It's not used to being in a well environment. This is what you want. When you come home, you sit up, you wanna sit down and watch some TV, watch sports and everything. You don't wanna turn your living room into a cave at the end of the day. If you don't like to do it with a TV, 
Why the heck are you doing it with a projector screen? I want to get a curtain over here because I want to open up this window too. I want some light on this side too. We had this thing closed for the longest time. Let me see if I got some shades downstairs because I want to get this one open right here. I want to get some light in here and make this place up. Let me go put this stuff away first. So what we're going to do, yeah, we're going to get some one coat from bone white, the whitest bright bright paint. We're going to paint everything in here. Everything is going to be bone white in here. We're going to get the drop off of the floor. Like I said, that tarp, I like it because it's nice and bright. We're going to do the whole floor from corner to corner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Velcro on the floor, double-sided Velcro so we can stick it down. That'll be perfect. That one is slipping and sliding on the place to kill myself. Let me do all the lights in here white too. That'd be nice too. Do some white lights in here too. Yeah, he was telling people to get off his channel. Look, man, I'll tell you something. I'm not over here to be fake. I'm not. If you don't like what I got to say at the end of the day, like I said, remove yourself off my channel. Unsubscribe. I don't care at the end of the day. I'm in here to keep it real 100%. That's why I come in here. I light the windows up. Got it nice and bright in here for everybody. Take the time to paint the screen and get up early in the morning to show you demonstrations that you need to be seeing at the end of the day. Take the time. I know the demonstrations can be a little long, but there's stuff that you need to know at the end of the day. If you want to invest money, have a nice setup, you have to learn to educate yourself and find out exactly what you should be buying and what you shouldn't be buying at the end of the day. And at the end of the day, people are making these products need to learn to back their products up. If you can't back your products up, get out of the business. That's how it works. So we're done in there for now. So I get some white paint until then. We're going to be back over in here doing some demonstrations in here. It's my little dedicated theater room setting up for myself. I gotta open my curtains too. I gotta jump on my PC because this is supposed to be well lit too. The area's supposed to be opened up. I'm gonna get my curtains open. scammers and all that stuff over here. We don't, I'm sorry. That offends some people and I'm addressing these two individuals on that level. They need to be challenged at the end of the day. You have to be challenged. Sorry about that. I'm talking crap all over the place. Hey, what's up, Taco? They don't want no one to question their work at the end of the day. That's what they don't want. I love the naysayers. I love you guys to death. You know why? Because you're always questioning my work. When people question my work, that just makes me basically work even harder to make better products. That's all you do. When you insult me, when you call me this and call me that and call me this and other, all you do is just make me stronger. You make me work even harder to show how much, how good I am. It doesn't tear me down at the end of the day. I, I love a good challenge. I know you didn't jump on this kind of get your own food. <laughs> I lose myself. Work has to be challenged. All right, my cord for some reason is in love with my stand. It doesn't want to leave my stand. Let's get this over here. That's the problem with them two. Them two don't want anybody challenging them, their authority. Here they talk. Yeah, I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to challenge you in every any way you can possibly think of. I'm going to challenge you. Show me what your product is supposed to be working the way it's supposed to be working. Explain it to me so I can understand. And if you can't explain it to me, that means you're talking bull crap at the end of the day. That's all you're doing to me. You're talking trash. All right, we got this. We got to clean that mess up over there. I'm going to mess over here because I had to get ready for the top. Mm -hmm. 
Get that done. We got a black on black test to do today. Oh yeah! You know I love those tests. Come on, I love I love challenging my stuff within the day. I don't I don't see why nobody I don't get it. We got about a couple of demonstrations to do on this black and black test. Next thing we do, we're gonna make some black paint products. We did that already, but we're gonna do it again because I need to do it for the uh, for the uh, for the YouTube channel, not the YouTube channel, the uh, the website. So we got a, 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 a link on there. We're well, not a link, but a section there. It says black on black, and all the tests we throw against our screen: black paint, black fabric. Because then the day I thought about that, you know, I was getting up out of bed, and I was thinking, I was like, you know what? These individuals do this to try to tear my product down. I'm gonna use this as my vantage point. We're gonna use this as an advertisement for our product. That we're not afraid to back our products 100%. And as we say this, we are going to challenge those that won't to do so like we do. Which we know you won't. That's the leverage we have on you automatically from the door. Because we know you won't do it. That's what we know. We know you're not going to do it. So might as well. Right? Top road to dinosaur. They're not going to test their own stuff. Hey, we're going to do it. And we're going to challenge you to do it at the same time. It shouldn't be that hard to do. Just sitting there, right? I got to set up for this one next. This is the black on black test when we're doing. Got to do videos for that. Yeah, we got it set up here. And I have to do a demonstration for a customer for that giant acoustic screen over there because they're getting one. one of the screens. So I'm ready for that too. I forgot the giant box so that's upstairs. All right, I think we'll get that later. Got it set up for you down here first. Get ready for that up here. The screwdriver, I need it. Later on. What do we have in here? Okay, so I don't need it. here. I'm going to put this up somewhere because it's going to be good. Trying to get my area in order. I want to match all over the place for working. I don't know why I bought this downstairs. I gotta paint the closet in the other room, so I forgot about that. I don't need that back upstairs. I gotta paint the closet. Alright, so we're gonna be using this and this. No, this is this is right, we've got to do two tests. We're gonna do one on light products versus our products. So we're gonna need a tablecloth from Amazon for that test. And then I mean, when you think about it, right, it's a pretty good advertisement for that, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, people believe that black screens, when you think about a black projection screen, you know, people think at the end of the day that, you know, they can't generate white light. But it depends on, you know, how you design them. They can generate white light at the end of the day. And we can use that as a perfect advertisement for the technology. You know, just going to doing demonstrations, doing all kinds of black fabric against the screen, and watching the screen generate this higher white light than these black fabrics. Why not? Man, I gotta break up my thousand projector too. You know? 
So thank you for the idea. I'm definitely going to be using it a lot. Okay, where's the bag? We had a wire bag around here somewhere that has this in here. All right, so this is the projector I'm using in the demonstration. You know what? I may, I may hit this a little farther because this is not a far enough distance for this. So we're going to be using a thousand lumen projector for this test. We're not test, it's more like demonstration. We've done these before on a thousand lumens because that's going to be more impressive. Five thousand lumens is okay, four thousand, but a thousand lumens is much, much better. Because at the end of the day, you know, you're going to people saying, well, it's, well, then again, if it's 5,000, everything's being hit with 5,000. But 1,000 lumens is even funner. That's more of a challenge at the end of the day. I mean, you can't have fun with 5,000. It's too easy. So let's make it hard. Let's give it 1,000 lumens. That's it. If we could do 1,000, well, we've done 1,000 lumens already, but still, it'd be fun to do the demonstrations on that. That's more impressive right there. That's what we want to do with that. I'm going to take this back upstairs. I want to do something really cool real quick to the thousand lumen projector. We're going to have some fun with that. I don't know why I carry this downstairs. This was clearly supposed to be upstairs. My mech over here. There we go. Got my mech over there. I'm curious. We need an adapter for that projector right there, and I need the cord to go to that one. That's what we need for that one right there. I'm also curious about a couple other things too with that projector. All right, so we got the black fabric. This is stuff we're going to need to do the test for the black on black. Let's get all this stuff up front. All right, so we got all this stuff here. We need it for the test for that demonstration. Let's see, so what do we got here? We got some black fabric. This is black fabric. We got to have different forms of fabric. Speaker mesh. Black paint. Black paint. Two different forms of black paint. One's actually been in it. One's domino. And black mesh. Because you know what, at the end of the day, like I said, people believe that that all this stuff is the same. Like I said, are you going to people saying, oh, you know, maybe he's shipping us black paint at the end of the day. You got to back that up. So that's going for that test right there. So that's set up already. I want to I want to do something for the projector real quick. And then what we'll do is we'll do a white level test on our white levels versus the tablecloths, the gray one and the other one we have here. That'll be for that one too today. This is all the stuff I line up to get ready for testing. Just for having fun or displaying stuff like that. Of course, we've got to have meters because meters got to be out there too in the present. See, that's what I'm saying. Then today, the with these guys, they do the same thing. All comfortable environments. We don't do comfortable environments. It's no fun. We don't comfortable environments. Let's get something for this. Let's get this sucker up and partying on this one right here. I'm gonna have some fun with this one too today. I think my wire bag is in here. Let me see. Oh, the wire box. Is there anything for me? Anything? Nope. I think it's in a big bag. I'm going to leave this one open then. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, well, it's perfect. All right, so if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'll be like, what the heck is a wire box? This right here. Play nice with me, really? Seriously, my goodness, man, it's fight with a box over here. These are the wire bags, this is all cables, wires, connections, everything I get when I buy projectors, H cable, it's all this junk in here. So, anytime I need something, just go to one of these boxes and just grab cables and stuff, and all kinds of stuff. HMI, all everything I need, anything I need to set something up, extra keyboard, mouses, whatever I need, it's all in here, and it's in this box, except for lead lights, everything. If I need something, it's there. Come on, man. Play nice. Rest in 
Do I have to be up early in the morning? Because I got all this stuff I have to do. I get up. Now, if the whole projection set up, that was spirit of the moment. That was never planned. I'm trying to figure out where we were going to do those demonstrations at. I figure so. The mech room is going to cost me seven thousand dollars to put together. I told you it's expensive to put that thing together. It's a lot of work. So many delay switches, a lot of wiring, solder, and everything. And right now, I can do it next year, not a problem. But this year, I need to do motorized projection screens. We don't have any place to set them up right now. This they used to go here, but the gaming screen's taking over that now. Because I wanted a bigger screen down here. I didn't want any hundred inches down here for displays for our stuff. This right here is around, I think, 90, 92, 91. I thought we were going to size anyway. But anyway, even this is good. But still, if we're going to do a reality, the reality screen, or oh, we can do the black on black test. No, but we can't do the black on black test upstairs. We don't have enough light. We have to be in the max zone for those. See, I got rules I got to follow by. So I, upstairs, we used to do them upstairs, but it's not enough light. Down here is more of a challenge because look, look at that fluorescent light. Look how much light we have down here. We max out down here automatically. I wonder how much light we pick up upstairs. Let's take the meter with us. I'm curious. I'm going to see how much light we're picking up out there. But down here, we get a ton of light. Now, not that. It's easy access to getting outside. So I can go from here, transfer screen from here, easily outside for demonstrations. I have some of my friends like, man, do you drink? I don't drink coffee or caffeine. I can't have caffeine. I'm hyperactive. I can't have any of that stuff to begin with. That's what makes my head explode at the end of the day. I used to play hockey back in the day. You may be tired and go get yourself an energy drink. I just go over to the aisle and just get a stick of gum and boom! There I am. I'm charged up. Man, what the freak is wrong with him? He had gum. Always wired. All right, we're going to take that upstairs. We're going to do the cabinet with that. Get that done. Do we have the smaller one down here? Or this one too? Where's the smaller roller? Ah, okay. I think we have it upstairs somewhere. I got to figure out where it's at right now. Brain's racing at 100 miles an hour. This is not this is this goes goes good. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys here. Man, I gotta take this upstairs for a minute. I'll be right back. I gotta take this from here right here, too. I think that's that's gonna be finished up. I'll get that done. I want this out of the hallway. So check this out. They call it the fire stick. Ouch, Mother George. That's gonna be done. I have to go back into the theater room. I might put a popcorn machine in there. I'm gonna need a popcorn machine in there. We might get a black, elegant popcorn machine for the theater room, the Venice theater room. All right. Ugh. Just connect you guys. So this is already set up today. I'm gonna to do a thousand lumen test on this one. We're probably gonna swing the projector around this way instead of have a longer distance throw on that one. <sighs> okay. Now we're going back upstairs. We have the thousand lumen projector. I'm going to take that and hit my screen with it because I'm going to see what the hell's going to happen with that. There's no problem with that. I don't care. Let's just see what happens. And then I got to paint my closet, which I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch me sit there and paint a closet. I'm pretty sure you don't want to. So I got to paint that when I get that done. All right. So you see right there. Plug you guys up over here. I got to take this paint back upstairs because I got to do the closet.
right now I don't have any more of the Black Phantom technology left. It's all sold out, so we got to make more of it because I need to do the screen upstairs for demonstration. Huh. No, I'm gonna put that new. I'm gonna put that new paint up there. That um, uh, that that platinum blue. We're gonna put a platinum blue up there. Heck yeah, might as well. I got one in the next room. Why put all? Why put all black screens up there? I'm gonna put a platinum blue up there. Heck yeah. Let me see. I can't even get left. Hold on. Sorry about that. I was like that. I made five gallons of this stuff for testing. We're going to paint the screen upstairs with the new platinum blue on that section of the test wall right over there. All right, that's going to be awesome. All right, cool. We'll do that today, too. All right, uh, I'm going to take this upstairs. I got to go upstairs and get the adapter, bring the adapter down, hook it up to the projector and the fire stick, and then hit that screen over there. Taco dinosaur, it's my shore.
Ah, uh -huh. they saw you on camera doing your dirt, buddy. That's what they saw. Man, it's gonna be a long day. I'm just gonna. Day it's getting started for me, people. Well, I'm sorry. No, you can't resist that speaker on that my wire on which will come, but you gotta stay away from that section, buddy boy. Thank you. We've done it in a few minutes, we'll get back to toys. See button, button, button.
There you go, people. Thousand of projector. Right there. Boom. My projector over here sits 18 feet back, so we're probably around 17 feet back from the screen. Not there yet, buddy. All right, just relax that in a few minutes we're gonna to get that fixed a bit I think she went on strike all right let's see what's going on with her why don't you have a little fussy fit today just want to play These staffers don't require any form of extra power to run them, so I don't know. We just have to grab another projector. I wanted to do a thousand lumens a day, but I don't think she wants to play today. p uh, other projector upstairs you see what's going on because that's the way it cut off that's not a good sign let's see what we got upstairs to play with I'd rather have that instead so let's see what we get Stuff like this at the day, man, it bumps the day out of it because I got so much to do, and it's just small stuff like this. It gets on my nerves. So I'm hoping it's the Alexa system, it's not this one. I mean, I have to get another thousand projector, and I like this projector. So I'm gonna run this one through here, see what happens. If it pulls up on here, that means it's a projector. If it doesn't pull up, that means it's a fire stick. And that's gonna suck because I just bought this fire stick. All right, let's get this one on the floor. Because it should at least be displaying a blue screen or something. But it's not even giving me that. This is what we're getting. When we hit up the wall, this is what we're getting. So it could be either way. Projector's on, it's running. 
Could be either way. One, one or the other. Other, other. Let's see what happens. Get anything done today? Well, we got some stuff done today. Let's go. Let's go see. Let's entertain this. Let's entertain this. Hey man, hold on. Let's see something for me. Well, what freaking high karate was that all about? Man, I swear. If anything artificial and tells that it probably has sense of humor, like objects cut off, they can run all the way upstairs, grab another projector, didn't come all the way downstairs, just cut on again. Come on, man. I got time for these shenanigans. I'm gonna go back upstairs and put this projector back. All right, I want to use the focus on here. There we go. Now, can we play nice today, please? Things to do. That's where I clicked on everything went black after that. I just want to get it just to fit. That's basically about it. I don't want to be too close. I want them to defeat the whole purpose of having fun. All right, that's working. That's good. Those technical difficulties, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't see the rest of it because this is a 4.3 because this projector only does 4.3. So we're just at the mercy of 4.3. I can't see anything else. So that's a thousand lumens. K demonstrations. It's a lot of black big audience oh, got jammed up on that side. That's what happened. That's a thousand lumens right there. That's one we got to use downstairs. So this is working. That's good. All right. I'm gonna use that one downstairs for the test because on the five under test we're just on demonstration. So. All right. fade out watch it come back to color watch it fade out watch it come back to color do 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 i can see i'm sitting look where i'm sitting at i'm way over here at the projector playing with the screen yeah it's too dark the screens don't show up yeah whatever we got to do a demonstration on this one mm-hmm yeah Okay, this is really fun here. 
Desire, nature, for, I butchered that one, cancel. AK, desire, nature. When I make a statement, when I say that I can bounce this thing off anything I want, I am not joking with you when I say that. I can bounce it off anything I want. So we got it over here on this screen. Do, 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 do. Put it up on the ceiling. Do, 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 do. Don't show demonstrations in the dark. Don't do that, please. Yes, yeah, a good way to get embarrassed. Watch this on the wall. Fade it. Wash it out. Boom. Hit our screen. Picks up. Boom, boom, boom. Wash out. Wash out. Over here. Pick up. Yeah, now I got to do a demonstration on this because this is pretty fun. Let's see if we can expand the screen a bit. That's it. I'm going to screen expansion. I know your naysayers don't like that. Y'all can't. Yeah, that burns you up, doesn't it? Or at the end of the day, do not do dumb demonstrations. At the end of the day, they're going to get you embarrassed. Because like I said, if I wanted to embarrass somebody, you think the demonstrations I do when I come on here are can embarrass people? No, I could really embarrass you if I wanted to embarrass you. I could take a thousand lumen projector. I could take the same image that he was basically showing off in the dark. And I could bounce it anywhere I want on any one of my screens. And it would pull up with no problem. I told you I could do that. I'm not going to say something and not back it up. And I could do it at a thousand lumen projector. A projector that was discontinued in 1999. And some of you guys have, what, $3,000, $4,000 projectors? And you can't even pull off a gray screen. You can't see a contrast level, but I can do this with no problem whatsoever. Wash out, put back together. Wash out, put back together. Hit off the ceiling. Right in the middle where my lights are at. Boom, 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 boom. Come on now. But then they get mad at the end of the day and send me these hateful emails. Like, oh, you think you're you think you're so good? You think you're this? No, 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 no. I just do my work that soft in the day. I don't cut corners. That's what you call at the end of the day doing your job. That's what it's called. That's what I, if I wanted to embarrass somebody, really embarrass, I could have did that right there in the demonstration. Hey, Jamie, check this out. Boom, 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 boom. Just plant with a thousand projector, not a. Not a 4,000, not a 5,000, a 720p, 600 by 800 res projector that was discontinued in 1999 with a 100 to 1 contrast level. I just bounced it off this wall in the, screen, in the ceiling with the lights on. Literally in the middle of the lights. If I wanted to embarrass somebody. At the end of the day, I call this playing with you guys. But then I'm not really, I, if I took you guys seriously, like really, really took you seriously, I could embarrass the daylight out of you guys on so many levels, it's not even funny. I could re I guess I can re-engineer your screen paint and put it against itself and blow your own stuff out with your own product. Level it with no problem. Give you competition against your own stuff. If I wanted to embarrass you. But I don't do that. The stuff that I do is basically just backing up my technology at the end of the day that it does what it's supposed to do. Unfortunately, your product gets crushed in the process. Because you don't back up your product. You don't test it. That's why I can do stuff like that. On, live on camera. Who does stuff like that on camera? You have to pretty much in the day like, oh, this stuff might not work. I might not want to do this. In my mind, it's like, oh, let's go do this. Yeah, at the end of the day, man, like I said, my buddy, my buddy said it crystal clear. I would hate for the person that comes across your path that ticks you off. Because at the end of the day, I will test you. I will embarrass yourself with a tablecloth. Hey, if I wanted to, I'm going to really embarrass yourself. I'll go get myself a Batman because I know it's going to be dark. I'll get myself a Batman kids tablecloth. I will coat that with that invisible technology and I will blow your screen out with it. So if I wanted to embarrass you, I could easily do that. Just bounce it off my screen back and forth. Matter of fact, I got to do the demonstration. We got, we got to do that one for uh, for the channel, for the uh, for the page on how advanced our technology is. Yeah, but then the day I, next year, they be getting mad. They be sending me out, oh, you think you're this? Are you think one time he sent me an email telling me, asked me, was I God at the end of the day? No, 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 no. I serve God. I'm not God. But at the end of the day, you want to talk about, oh, 
go against my religion and talk about, oh yeah, your religion this and your religion that and God got it. Well, guess what? You see how amazing my technology is at the end of the day? You can't do that, can you? Hey, pull your screen clean out of the water, my man. Think nothing of it. You don't have anything for me at all. When you get something, you let me know. So then I'm going to start using that. Sherman Williams is your product. As a matter of fact, until you back it up, I'm going to make me a label and stick your name on that Sherman Williams right there. Crow's House Paint. Right on the side of that. Every time I use one of those containers. Until you back it up. Everybody can sit there and say, oh, but you're wrong. For no, 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 no. You need to back. You're bullying him. You're bullying him for what? He's the one who runs his mouth. Him and that other joker run their mouth all day long. I bought my stuff. Then I come out here and I embarrass them. And then now they're the, they're the Karens. They're the victims. Please, give me a break. Like I said, if this offends you in any way and you feel that it's wrong, that, I, that, that, that I'm defending my company and I can come out here and crush people, when, they, when you, if you challenge me at the end of the day, I'm going to crush you. Do you think I'm going to let you walk over top of me at the end of the day and talk about my stuff being trash and garbage in the day? And I'm going to crush you in the process. What I'm designed, what I'm supposed to do. I have confidence in my product at the end of the day. And if you find this offensive... If this, if this bothers you at the end of the day, then you get the freak off of my channel. Unsubscribe. Get out. Why is this at the end of the day? Oh, you're supposed, I'm supposed to be the one that's supposed to be the one that's supposed to take a beat down and, and deal with that? Oh, heck no. You got the wrong person. I'm not cut out that way. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I really want to embarrass your stuff. Like I said, I'll reverse engineer your stuff right now. I got your stuff right there. I'll, I'll make it even better than what it is and tell people how to design it. Shouldn't be hard. Sherman Williams does the same thing. But anyway, I'm gonna do that one. Cause I get, I, like I said, I get the mess. Like, oh, you, I don't care. I don't care at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you can call me this, you can call me that, you can call me whatever you want. At the end of the day, back your product. So that was fun, man. Bouncing it off the ceiling on a thousand lumens. Hmm. Oh, I wonder. Is that possible? Hmm. Maybe it could be. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's 27 right there. 27. Hmm. I'll tell you something. My screens, once I go mainstream, are going to be like $10,000 to $20,000. I, I already have a client lineup already. You, when I'm doing all this, you know that I have other business things I do offline, right? Do you have any idea what my technology is going to work once I jump offline? It's going to be like twenty to ten thousand dollars per package for this technology. Because already I got proof that I've wiped out just about every certified screen, and they can vouch for it. They will not go against my stuff at the end of the day. No one on YouTube does demonstrations like I do. No one. You just watch me take a thousand lumen projector. Where you where I'm standing at right now? This is where I'm standing at right now from my room. Bounce it off that screen. Bounce it off the ceiling with the lights on. Back and forth at a thousand lumens. You show me any company that does that. That's why I got people that are clients that are setting up already. That once I'm ready to go offline and go full corporate, they have a clientele of customers that are willing to pay that money for my technology. Because the five thousand dollar screens and the the big companies can't seem to basically take on my, my technology at the end of the day. And I have no problem with challenging screen innovation. I don't care who you are at the end of the day. If you ever want to do it side by side next to my technology, you email me, you let me know. Better yet, call me. And we'll sit down, we'll have a date, and we'll sit down and we'll see who has the better technology at the end of the day. You have to have that kind of confidence. But crows and partakes can't do that. You know why? Because they talk a whole bunch of bull crap on camera. And they can't even back their products up. I might start posting on my website. They can't back their product up to a tablecloth. A tablecloth, people. An Amazon tablecloth. <laughs> and paint. House paint. The same paint that I'm using right now that match crows product is the same paint that I have on the baseboard in my theater room and I'm about to paint my closet with. The same paint that I use as a primer to prime my gaming screen downstairs is the same product that you have on your wall. If you bought that product, that's what you have. You got primer. Pretty much, that's pretty much what it's used for. We use it for as primer. 
All right, I am done with all this. I'm finished. I, I, I've got to do one of these demonstrations to put on my site. So I'm going to do a, a pre-recorded uh, me bouncing the thousand lit projector from one screen to the next coast. That was pretty fun right there. I had to do that one again. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Even better, even better. Let's do something better. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. We got to do something better than that. Better than that. That's it. That's easy to do. Because like I said, the next day, like I said, we did that for fun because, like I said, I did that for fun because me and Crow did that demonstration in the dark. I told you not to do that demonstration in the dark. I warned you not to do that demonstration in the dark. I said, if you did that demonstration in the dark, I will embarrass them on every level with that same demonstration. We took it outside at 150 inches. We had it downstairs in the max out zone. We just bounced it off from here to here. I had it displayed on top of the ceiling. We just shot that thing everything, everywhere. Oh, we displayed it on the floor downstairs too, in the acoustic screen. Yep. But I want to do something else here. I'm curious about this. Yeah, I got package deals coming up. The legendary technology. Yeah, that technology is already in the process of basically being attached to a 4K and high-end projectors, packages, and stuff like that. Now, like I said, we're not selling out. We're going to have stuff for other people. Like, we're going to have stuff that you can buy at a reasonable price. But we're also going to be working on a much higher level because I figure, why not? If I'm beating these big certified screen companies out there on the market, why can't I be in the same playing field they're going to be in? Only difference is my technology, yes, is going to be catered to certain clientele, but on top of that, the everyday Joe that works at McDonald's or whatever can afford a high-end screen that can take on a $5,000 screen. He can do it at a $300 projector in a fully lit environment with no problem. So even our basic technology will blow out a $5,000 screen. That's the whole purpose. When their basic screen is a white screen. So how they work is, okay, you can't afford the 5,000, you can't afford the three, but we got this white screen, or we got a silver one, or we got a mid-gray. That's your cat, that's most people's cat is going to end up at. Once you start hitting that uh, $1,500, $1,600, and then $3,000, and $4,000, that's when a lot of people start being like, nah, that's just for 100 inch, keep in mind, it's only 100 inch. I'm not talking about 120 or none of them, 100 inch only. So their basic bottom dollar screen, either the white, mid-gray, either light gray, or silver. Our bottom dollar screen is pretty much a screen that can take on a $5,000 projection screen. That's one of our bottom dollar screens. Where's the uh, controller for a minute? I want to do something real quick. I'm going to do, um, let me see, 4K snow screen saver. YouTube. are in the way. Here we go. Let's see. Last one. 4K snow screensaver. Contrast level is easy on the black screen. I said before because any black screen can produce contrast. It's the white levels that make it hard. Let's try something else. Let's try, uh, let me see. Uh, The color blue. See? Contrast is everything. Can't pick up proper colors. Our black technologies is going to do that. If I bounce off the wall, what color you pick up. That's why I said I try to do demonstrations that they're not going to show you. Your company companies are not going to show you this at the end of the day. They're never going to show you this at the end of the day. You're going to be in a rehearsed environment. The projector's calibrated, everything's picked out, even the environment, just ambient lighting, all that's done. 
goes up there, he reads the script, he talks about the screen, he has a certain select videos, and they're done. That's it. I come on here and I show you things that you should be seeing. Now, it'd be virtually impossible for a screen, like I said, from Crow, from his professional point of view, says that a black screen, at the end of the day, can't see color because it comes up too dark. Well, I had a thousand lumen projector in my hands right now, and that's a fully lit environment in the next room. I'm not even in the room, in the next room over here. And I can still move back and forth and project a beautiful blue screen where it washes out here, but it maintains here, and project it off the ceiling, right over the light, back and forth, and still maintain a beautiful blue. Where his product, on the other hand, matches the house paint I'm about to paint my closet with in a few minutes. Red screen. Doesn't fade out. Do 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 I'm just having fun. All right, people. This has been fun. I got to get out of here. I might do this for tomorrow. I don't want to do any more videos for today. I'm kind of tired. There's just so much stuff I want to show you. I think the reason why I have so many videos in one day, there's just so much stuff. That you're supposed to see and it's a shame they never show you what you're supposed to see and a lot of the demonstrations they, they never show you anything which is what you see 4k tropical fish This is where we're standing at right now. If you can see where I'm at right now, this is where I'm at. I'm in the next room. I'm over here. All right, that's fun. I gotta set this up downstairs. We need this for testing for the uh, black on black test next. So that's what we're gonna be using that for. Well, I got a closet to paint in, and um, I got, well, I should do that too. Oh, it's snowing. It's just, ooh, look at that, it's snowing. That came out of nowhere, you can't see it. But that came out of nowhere. Not sure about that, people are rocking over left and right. I'm bad. Yeah, you got it. You got it. At the end of the day, man, you got to know what you're buying at the end of the day. And this is what you should be requesting. You should be requesting these people to do these tests at the end of the day. All right, much it for me. I have to get something to eat because I haven't anything to eat yet. Take my meds and stuff. Make a few phone calls, and um, I got to be back on. I got a black on black demonstration to do. Black is black versus black on a thousand limit because we need that for the website. I have to do a demonstration on the acoustic screen for a customer. And we're going to paint the screen upstairs with the new technology we have downstairs. So we're definitely going to be painting that today. We're going to do a paint on demonstration. Quick, fast, and easy. All right. Um, that being said, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Got to go, and God bless.